when it comes to monetizing your Facebook profile, getting to the monetization requirement is not even the main problem. But the big problem here is that a lot of us end up having a notice called the content monetization policy that we violated. And the funny part of this rule is that you won't even know how you get to violate this rule, nor will Facebook even notify you when you violated it or what exactly you did. Even if you check their policy page, you won't find a reason that actually matches why you probably violated that rule. But the truth is that there are some few things you need to put in place to actually help you resolve that issue in case you are facing that problem. Because personally, I had it on one of my page and I applied just simple four steps and I was able to actually overcome that. And I'm going to share that with you in this video. So with that already said, if this is your first time here, kindly smash the like, subscribe button, like this video and tell me what you feel down in the comment section as well. So with this already said, let's get straight to today's video. Let me share with you these four things that you can actually do in order to help you by in order to help you solve this content monetization policy issue on your Facebook page. The number one reason why you could have this issue on your page or what you can actually do to uh, overcome it is actually stop uploading copyrighted content or if you've already uploaded it, delete it off. Now, what do I mean by copyrighted content? When you upload some content on Facebook, either videos or images or something of such, when there is a copyright claim on those images, the good thing is that Facebook is going to let you know that this, your, this material you uploaded is actually copyrighted by the original owner and that it will even give you a link to the original page where that thing belongs, whether the sound or the video or something of such that is copyrighted in that particular content you post. And that's a good thing about Facebook that can actually help you resolve this issue. So if you've uploaded a video, an image or just a sound or something of such and Facebook tells you that there's a copyrighted material in it, my advice to you is that kindly delete that material off. Yes, delete it off and then wait for some time and then that notice is actually going to leave there. And for those of you who don't have it yet and still looking for a way to actually avoid having it, please make sure that whenever you're uploading your videos and then Facebook tell you that there's a copyrighted material in your video, even though they say it might not affect your monetization, their advice I will tell you is that get rid of it. If there are some copywriters that will tell you that this one will not affect your monetization, this and that. But the truth is that you can't actually tell which of them will affect your monetization. So if you uploaded a video and Facebook tells you this thing, my advice to you is that delete that particular material that they are saying of, or probably don't upload that particular video. So if you think you use a background sound in any of your videos that you pre-recorded yourself and all of that, and they still have that issue, then get rid of the sound from the video. That's why I see that I don't use um, background songs in any of my videos. I used to use in the past before, but I decided to stop it because at times this background music actually gives us copyright, but then we decide to overlook them at times. That's why I don't even try using any of them in my videos anymore to avoid any form of issue. So that is the point number one I have for you. If you have copyrighted materials on your page, do it and delete them off, even though they, to they told you that it might not affect your monetization. For safety reason, our advice, you get rid of it. So this copyrighted content could be either a background song you use in your video or simply the video you uploaded itself. So let's move on to the second tip on our list. The point number two, why you might have this content violation issue is simply because you lack originality in your content. Now what I mean by lacking originality in your content doesn't mean you have to shoot all your videos like the way I'm doing to make sure that they are your own videos or something or such. No. What I simply mean is that even if you are repurposing other people's content, also known as creating reaction videos, make sure that you are at least doing a lot of modification to the original version of the video and not just because one thing I see is that most of you, when you are doing reaction videos, you don't say anything, you don't do anything. All you simply do is you just put your face at one side of the video just like that. Some of you even use just a sticker, some use pictures, some just use text to react to the video. Well, the truth is that if you are doing these lazy forms of reaction, the chances of you getting that issue is very high. So because personally, I've created a video on how you can actually create reaction videos. And if you look at those videos, one thing I always advise is that don't use same short clip for all your reactions. Try as much as possible that you are using a fresh clip for all your reaction videos. And when you are reacting to a video, make sure that what your face is there. Keep your face there and always move it around. Like just be there and let them know that what that's not just the original one that you are reposting because one, some reaction videos I see, once I see that, I know that that page is definitely going to have issues because you just see them keep a sticker on the side or something I'll just put a laughing emoji or probably some just their yeah, picture there. Well, if you use this form of reactions, you're actually going to get that issue on your page. That's why whenever I'm creating videos on reaction video, I will show you how you can use, uh, how you can record yourself in addition to the video you are reacting to. In this way, you're actually going to bypass that issue. So in case you are doing a reaction video and want to make sure that the, your kind of reaction videos doesn't land you into that problem, 
then here is a video for you that will be tagged in the video description as well you can see the video at the top there it will also be in this video description do well to check it out because in that video i show you how you can actually create reaction videos correctly and for those of you using iphones then watch this other video that is actually showing on your screen right now it will also be done in the video description as well so now that is simply the point number two here simply try and create more original content or at least if you are repurposing content do a lot of modifications to the original version the point number three is simply because you violated any of facebook community guidelines now what do i mean by facebook community guidelines when it comes over to facebook facebook have set of rules for every single post you make out there like for example you are not allowed to make use of hate speeches on facebook and if you go over to facebook community guidelines section on the hate speech they've listed out every single word that they don't want to see on their platform and making use of this word can actually prevent you from getting monetized secondly is uploading adult content and we all know that all the social media platforms don't actually accept adult content except for some social media platforms that have recently started accepting them so if you know that your content has so much of body exposing or they are actually real adult content the one thing i advise you to do is that delete them off of facebook or probably forget about getting your page monetized because that is simply the only way here there's no other way to read and this is the problem that a lot of people have on facebook because a lot of us in one way or the other make use of these hate species whilst making posts without even knowing because some of us don't read the community guidelines so we don't even know the hate speech the kind of speech that these platforms actually hate so in one way or the other we get to violate this rule and at times facebook do send on send us a notification that we violated their community guidelines and all of this they will often overlook it and if you've received this notification before but you overlooked it then I think it's time for you to go back to that message and go fix that particular issue off. So if you are able to spot that particular post that led to the violation of their community guideline, delete it off or modify it. If it's something you can edit, edit it and get rid of that particular word or simply delete it off to be even more safer. If you think it doesn't have much impact on your page growth, just delete it off. You can create more different different version of it without using hate speech. So that's simply all about the number three here. Simply just make sure that you've not violated any of facebook community guidelines and if you think that you've actually you're actually clean from this three point that i've actually shared with you and you still have this issue then i think your problem is totally different from what you are actually searching for because these are some of the main reasons why you could have that problem and there are only three reasons to that one of them is using copyrighted content secondly it's actually not doing not um uploading much original content onto your page and they're just repurposing things and they're reposting without any much modification and thirdly could be violating community guidelines and these are the only three things that could prevent you from getting monetized now after you've removed all of these things this send us to point number four now the point number four is simply upload content more actively now what do i mean by uploading content more actively now once you've deleted all those content that lead you to the violation maybe if you've um sought out all this content that led you to violating the, the content monetization policy and all of that now to make sure that you get your page back up and running one thing i advise you to do is that now you need to upload content actively back to back the reason for this is that after you've deleted those videos facebook don't want your page to be slow they want to upload more videos if your problem was not uploading enough original content now i've actually shown you how you can create more original content even though you are repurposing other post content to post i've shown you the best way to do it i've recommended videos on how you can do it go watch that video and then try uploading at least one to two videos every single day at least one to two single every single day within one week to two week period of time that notice will actually leave that place i personally had it on my page and now i don't have it anymore because these are the simple rules that i personally implemented on my page to actually avoid it because once i didn't have the issue at first and then i was just there i wasn't even checking it actively so a month later i came to check i realized i have that issue on my page and then i had to go through all my content and assign i found the content that actually had the tag that um this video or was it the video i the sound in the video was actually copyrighted by a different page so i had to follow it to the page and it was the page that had actually had the original version of the content so i was left with no option but to get rid of it and after getting rid of it the only way to clean up everything and then pay up for my mess was actually uploading videos more consistently and this is one thing i also advise you to do as well so with this already i hope you find this video helpful and please don't forget to smash that subscribe button like this video and tell me what you feel and also turn on the bell notification because on this channel i'm mainly focusing on bringing content that will actually help you and i make money as content creators so have a lovely day bye